Hey everybody, this is Javi, and you are watching uh, the Bowtie Psychic YouTube page. I'm a psychic and intuitive medium who focuses on generational trauma and ancestral healing through divination. Welcome, and I appreciate you and your energy. So I'm finishing up the videos for the month of June, and today I am doing videos for, or this video is dedicated to Capricorn. Um, I already pulled cards and I'm already tapped in. So um, if you are watching this video and it resonates with you, be sure to subscribe to the channel, share and like, comment, tell your friends about me. Um, because the more people who know about my messages uh, and my channel, um, the more people I can reach. And so um, speaking of reaching out, you can email me at bowtiepsychic at gmail.com if you have any questions. Or um, you can visit my website, thebowtiesecond.com, um, to either look at the content or to reach out to me uh, for a reading. So, like I said, I already have cards pulled here. And I got the message while I was tap uh, tapping in, before I even get started with cards, well, when I was tapping in um, to the energy at Capricorn, the first thing I got is that we are here to have fun. We're not just here to pay bills and die. You know what I mean? A lot of those are very hardworking. A lot of those are very, um, I'm getting to the tooth. Um, basically, we do things by the letter. And I'm a Capricorn rising. And so um, I get the hardworking and the perfectionism and um, always, you know, desiring to have order. Order is, you know, something that makes us, it, it definitely helps us thrive um, as workers and thrive as a sign because when we don't um, have that order and we are confused uh, in some way, shape, or form, it does frustrate us. Um, and not only does it frustrate us, it, it, we definitely take it out on other people if given the opportunity to do so, which is not a good thing. And so we are being told you know, by spirit, those who are born of the, of the um, Capricorn sign, whether it be their sun sign, moon sign, rising sign, or Venus sign, is pretty much time for us to basically not take ourselves as seriously um, as we do. Meaning, uh, because it is the reason why I say that is because it's, it's definitely not um, conducive to our spiritual growth, it's not conducive to our way of living is not conducive to our style, is not good, you know, and when I mean my style, I mean my how, you know, we, you know, we, we, we carry ourselves in the world. Um, it's just not who we are as a people, you know, um, and it makes us uncomfortable, you know, um, when we are not having enough fun uh, in our lives. So, what we are being told in this card, this is actually the the seven of earth. We're being told to relax. We're being told to relax and let things happen and go with the flow. And with Capricorn being the earth sign, um, we are, like I said, we are to have order. We're, we can't have, order is, um, is out of our hands. Um, and when I say order, I mean structure, you know. Um, so when we don't have structure, we have the tendency to, um, be flustered and walk around confused or if or if we don't have any anything you know there are ducks in a row that messes with our mind in some way shape or form and so as a result of that we have the tendency to be perfectionist we have a tendency to strive for per, um, perfectionism to the detriment of some of us you know um, myself included so what this card is basically saying is that we have to calm down. We are to calm down. I'm hearing calm the hell down. And so the reason why we're I'm hearing that is because again we are basically out of order when we are when we feel as if we don't have everything together. Um, we have the tendency to be very stiff. We have the tendency to be um, very hard on ourselves. Um, and just automatically assume that it's our fault, you know, that we allow something to happen. Um, we allow ourselves to be caught up in aesthetics, 
we allow we allow ourselves to be caught up in and this is about like what I'm getting is that um straight up and flat out this is about how we are how we operate as workers and how we operate as you know when it comes to success and so what I'm getting from this card right here is that we are to go with the flow and relax we are to relax in every way shape and form we are to relax in every way shape and form. okay when we don't relax we can't be ourselves and when we can't be ourselves um, we're, we're out of alignment. We're out of our spiritual element. Um, and this is definitely resonating with me, this reading, um, because I'm in Capricorn rising. And so I also have the tendency to be very hard on myself when something does not go right. Um, when something, when there's like an actual like a last minute change, you know, I get flustered to the point of not being able to speak. And so, as a result, we become extremely upset. Um, we lose our power um, when we don't allow ourselves to just basically go with it. Um, and so, it's okay to have order. It's okay to have structure, but not to the point where um, we get flustered when things don't go our way in some way, shape, or form, or things don't go as planned in some way, shape, or form. I'm also getting uh, the abundance card. I'm getting, what I'm getting from this card is that we will get what we are asking for eventually. We will get what we're asking for. We will get the abundance that we're asking for, the monetary gain that we're asking for. Um, the, the life and the livelihood that we are asking for um, is whatever spirit calls for us to have, whatever spirit uh, has blessed us with already, we were going to get it eventually. We were supposed to have it. Okay? Every, anything, because here's the thing, like, we all have parallel universes. Um, there's another version of us um, living somewhere. Okay, in another dimension, in another alternate reality. Our alternate realities are supposed to align in some way, shape, or form. The person that we um, envision ourselves to be, that's, that's not by coincidence. That is literally who we are. That's what daydreaming, it, um, what daydreaming does. It introduces us to an alternate uh, view of ourselves that already exists. Spirit is basically just waiting for us to align. So whatever, whatever we want, and I say that because whatever we already imagine ourselves of being, whoever we imagine ourselves being, what we imagine ourselves um, possessing in some way, shape, or form. Okay, and I shouldn't even use the word possessing because you can never possess anything. Um, what we are meant, what the lifestyle we are meant to live, the type of life we are meant to have, um, the, the, the type of life that we always imagine for ourselves. That's not our imagination. That's, that's what we actually have in another universe. Spirit wants us to, and so I say that because spirit, when we see the best things, we see the best part of ourselves in those dangers. Um, and those thoughts and those meditations, um, that's, that's literally us, that spirit showing us, this is what we can, that's what you're supposed to have. That's what you're supposed to have. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay? Do not worry about it. Because what's happening is that we, whenever, when we go with the flow and let things occur, um, this is what we're going to get anyway. This is what we're going to have. Um, whether it be monetary gain or... Don't worry about it. That's my housemate if you see him. Um, so basically, <laughs> um, what's happening is that um, we are basically being told, Capricorn, that everything that we're working for, everything that we're working for, Everything that we have been shown in our alternate universes through our mind, through our meditations, 
we are going to have. There is no need for us to worry at all. There is no need to worry about what works, what doesn't work, you know, because we are literally working on spirit's time. We are too busy. Like, we're working on spirit's time. There's nothing to worry about. We're too busy working ourselves to excess. And we're wondering why nothing is working or, or is not working on our time. Uh, it's literally because we're being primed. We're being, at least I am, I'm being primed and being seasoned for something much better. And everything that we have worked for will come into, will come into fruition. So there really isn't anything to be concerned with as far as um, our well-being, our monetary success, or our success in general um, is going to happen. You just have to relax, relax and let it happen. There's also um, the sage card upside down. And what I got from this immediately is that we are not here to know everything. It's okay to not know everything. It's okay to study. It's okay to ask questions. Um, it is okay to to, uh, to uh, tap someone on the shoulder and basically say like, "How did you do this?" It's okay to go to another resource to get answers because we put so much pressure on ourselves to know everything. Okay, we're not here to know everything and we're not here to teach everybody. And I'm definitely speaking to those who, um, who are definitely you know, spiritual people, the spiritual people who are working with other folks, you know, who are teachers uh, or life coaches or spiritual coaches, you know, folks who run their own business. You don't, you're not meant to know everything. Even, even mentors need mentors, even coaches need coaches, even, you know, those who are in leadership roles um, go out um, to get information from other people, you know, who have mentored them um, or taught them what they know. You are not meant to, we are not meant to know everything, Capricorn. We are not meant to know everything. The reason being is that we put ourselves in a situation where um, we put ourselves in a situation of burning ourselves out. We put ourselves in a situation of putting it in our minds that in order for us to be effective, um, we are to know everything. We are to know everything. We have to be like this plethora of information, this sponge of information, this walking on Wikipedia of, of spiritual information or, spirit, or spiritual knowledge or spiritual wisdom. And sometimes it is just not possible to know stuff on the spot. It's just not possible. It's actually unrealistic. It's unrealistic. For real. Like, not everybody can, can, you know, have information on deck like that. There are things that take more time. Okay? Doesn't mean that you are right or wrong. It just means that you don't have that information. It is perfectly normal to not have all the answers. I like what the reason why we feel like we have to have all the answers or we're required to have all the answers said so yes, you are very much an expert. Um, that you're, you're going to be very much an expert. We are going to be an expert in our field of study, in our, uh, in our, in our, um, in our subject of interest. But what's, what's happening, what's happening is that, um, because of the school system and because of the way the school system was set up and not only that but the capitalist system we're told that if we don't know enough if we don't if we have this all or nothing type of thinking and that if we don't know um 
certain things at a certain time, or if we don't know everything at a certain time, then we are we are worthless, we are useless, um, we're not intelligent enough, and so we walk around with imposter syndrome as a result, um, and that's I'm getting it's a waste of time to walk around with imposter syndrome like this, because again that 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 whole notion that we are to know everything in order to be effective that did not come from us; it came from the society in which we live. So you're being being told by spirit as um, Capricorn that. You are not to put so much pressure on yourself that you just completely par- become paralyzed um, mentally, simply because you don't know all the answers. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to your um, to your future students or your or the students that you're working with. It is not fair to you. It's just not. It's just simply not. And so that's what that's what that card is basically saying for us Capricorns. You know, we are sages in our own right. We are sages. Um, in every way, shape, and form. But as far as us, um, as far as 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 us as um, as teachers, you know, we're also we're also learners, and we learn from other people as we go along. Okay. At the same time, we are not to do everything into um, intuitively either. You know, if you don't know the answer, just say you don't know. You're not. I'm, di- I'm also being told to stress that you, you Capricorn, you're not stupid. You're not stupid in any way, shape, or form. Okay, you're not stupid in any way, shape, or form. Again, society has taught us that there's one way of gathering information. There's one way of conveying information. There's one way of uh, collecting and storing information in our brains, and not everyone works that way. Not everyone works that way. So do not be hard on yourself if you don't have all the answers straight away. Society has taught us there is one way or there is one form of intellect. There is one form of learning and that is just basically sitting in front of um, sitting in a room facing one way and and, 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 or writing notes and learning things um, from one type of person, from one person who thinks, who may, who may think one way while you're thinking another, who may have a different learning style than you. You're not, but that's so that's what I'm, I'm getting from that card. Also, the sage card is that you have your own way of learning. You have your own way of teaching. You have your own way of retaining information and getting information, gathering information, and it's not wrong. At the same time, you are to understand and internalize and internalize the fact that you don't know everything, and you are not obligated to know everything. You're not obligated to know everything. By no means are you obligated to know everything. So you also have the Wand of Fire. So what I got from this card you basically you are to teach and to network. I'm going to teach and network. And to keep actively doing this. To keep teaching and to keep networking. And to actively do it. I'm getting show up. Yes, I'm just getting that you are to show up, to continue to show up for your clients, to continue to show up 
uh, for the people that you work with um, to keep showing up in events to keep showing up just allow your face to be shown to allow and allow yourself to be shown um, because the more people see you because it's one thing to this is also I'm also doing this for online people um, for online business owners and also Capricorn that is one thing to do things online but it's another thing for people to actually show or to see your face and to actually feel and, and see your energy um, it's another thing um, to be online and to do videos just like this but if people aren't resonating with you um, on the outside as well offline as well you know at events as well um, then your impact is not going to be felt as as much as it is you know when you're online so basically um, you're being told to continuously work and to be known and to show your face you know and not do everything online This is no different from having an online business. Actually, it's no different from, I'm being told to say that this is no different from being on the telephone. It's one thing for people to hear your voice, but it's another thing for people to see you and to feel your presence and to shake hands with you and to actually have a conversation with you. You can only, like, yes, you can do that, you know, through a live video, but even I feel like there is nothing that like that pales in comparison um, to, to it, it pales in compare in the comparison to hold on let me there's something I don't know how to speak either <laughs> so basically like I feel like for me um, it's much more powerful to see someone um, in person um, face to face you know so. Um, you can feel their energy, touch their energy, like in some cases, like be wrapped in their energy, you know, um, be wrapped in, their, in a person's energy, and, you know, to actually feel and to know them and to get to know them offline, you know, um, it's another way, you know, when you're able to meet someone in person, you get to know who they really are, um, because they cannot lie to you. They can't lie to you, you know, um, when they are looking at you. Like we, because their energy can be felt, right? Intensely felt. So that's why that, and that and this card came up. It's one thing to do a lot of work, you know, you know, on the, through a computer screen or a laptop or a laptop screen or um, a tablet or a phone is, is another thing to do that as you know it is cool to do that I'm not knocking that at all but it's, a, it, but it's a whole different feel when you meet a person in person and you can feel their energy you can feel their and how genuine they are or you can feel how um, they're not here for you you can feel that and it just feels good to have that human contact. Interpersonal relationships are very important. So I'm thinking this is like a whole, a, yeah, this this whole thread is, or this whole spread is basically saying like, there's one thing to, it, it's, it's one thing like, this is business, this is a business oriented spread that I'm getting for Capricorns right now. It's a business spread that I'm getting for Capricorns. They're basically, it's okay to be imperfect. You don't have to know everything. Networking on the outside is very important, you know, especially when it comes to people, especially when it comes to, to spiritual work. You know what I mean? So um, this is very important. Networking and, and doing the action work necessary. This is an, like, number one is an action number. Um, so it's basically about you know not only acting on your on, 
on your desires, not or like going and doing action or something um, action oriented in general, but basically follow through. It's about follow through. You know, um, it's a, not only an action number, but about starting over, but it's basically following through. Okay, so basically, this is not about just shaking someone's hand and giving them your card or you know, they give you theirs. Um, it's not just about net, networking as well, but it's also about follow through. And so you can maintain that relationship. Um, you can, you know, develop a genuine relationship, uh, whether it be a working relationship or a personal relationship with the people that you are working with. Because, because um, interper my interpersonal connection is now um, very important, especially when it comes to spiritual work or being a spiritual entrepreneur. Um, and that's what I'm learning as well. It's one thing to, um, it, it's, just, it's just a beautiful thing to get involved with someone who um, desires your presence and wants to be in your presence often. And so you got this card right here. This is the last card we have. This is actually the four of earth. And it's upside down. I'm getting that this is not the time to be afraid. This is not the time to be scared. And you're being told to get out of your shell very quickly. You're being told, Capricorn, to get out of your shell and to get out of your own way. That shell is busting. That shell is busting. If you can see this card right away, um, but see this card in general, the armor, like his skin is cracking, is bleeding. So what this card is upside down is basically seeing that this is time for you to, to get out of your shell and to start changing things in your life that will that prevent you from um, standing in your own power and keep and, and, and to stop and prevent you from standing in your own way. We have too much work to do out here, um, especially when it comes to our businesses, Capricorn, that we don't have the time anymore, the luxury anymore. To not show up. This is not the time to not show up. This is the time for us to be ready. Um, not to the point where you're, you know, you're on or whatever. Um, but basically, this is literally this is the time to to let people know who you are. To let people in, you know, on your uh, on your secret powers. <laughs> This is the time for you to allow people in um, as far as your um, your ability to be present and your ability to show up. Let people know what you are capable of. Let people know what you're about. Again, if you are to find, right, start networking, especially, you know, I know for me, I'm beginning to network with people you know, who are connected to the spiritual community. I'm starting to connect with those folks. This is a time, for, because I knew that this was a time for me to shine. This is a time for me to get my business together. You know, this is a time for me to let people know that, look, I'm here for, with my spiritual gifts, therefore I'm here to share them with you. And to get paid doing it. This is another thing, too. This card is also about boundaries. I'm also getting that this is a time for you to allow yourself to have boundaries when it comes to your business, when it comes to your energy. I'm going to keep in mind what you're here for. You're here to help people. You're, a, you're here to um, help the human race in every way, shape, or form. But you are allowed to be paid for it. 
you're allowed to be paid for it. You're allowed to be paid to, um, you're allowed to be paid for the work that you put out. You're allowed to be paid for the work um, in, the, in the energy that you put into your work. It is time. I'm getting at the fear and the doubt to push that all away. So that you can show up in the world. All right, so that is all we have uh, for Capricorn. Um, if you resonate with this episode in any way, shape, or form, so just subscribe to the Bowtie Psychic YouTube channel. I'll just like click on the little bell so you'll never miss a, a video. Um, I also put up words of wisdom and all kinds of stuff. So I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter now. And um, also visit the BowtiePsychic.com website um, to book a reading or to read blog entries. Uh, and to learn more about me, um, so, you know, hobby. So um, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your energy. And until next time, peace.